Well, we're part way through, most of the way through the day. I'm telling you what, I am sore. Every horse, every horse I've gone with today has been either a runaway or extremely strong in the face. And uh, it has taken its toll, you know, Tom right there, I was just trying to do him a favor, let one go and come back around. He didn't race very good, and, and you can be sure horses like him and Electric Line top the list of horses that are probably going to leave. Listen, every time we buy, it seems like over the last two years that we buy 10 Commando Toms, some of them work out. Most of them do okay, and you're going to get the odd Commando Tom. That horse there just didn't race good. Didn't race good at all tonight. And everything his own way. Only had to come a half in a minute or 1-1. One, one. Now, I had him gathered up pretty hard both in the post parade and in the race. But at the same token, uh, didn't seem to me like he was any in any distress in either situation. Just a little strong, as I said, a little firm in the face. Um, and it didn't work out well. So it uh, leaves me with my arms, elbows, shoulders, biceps killing me. Uh, and it all started earlier on. Carter Michael Dio, I had talked and set a video out about Carter Michael Dio. Um, and had a great conversation with Dominic and with James again on the way home in regards to Carter just refreshing myself, my memory with Carter. It had been a while since I sat behind him. Um, and I think we, we uh, all of us, understood the, the landscape, what was going on, and what would probably help Carter Michael Dio. Uh, I am a little leery about the shoeing, but we'll mull that over. Uh, and obviously, I want to loop Tim in, because that's where he is right now. So um, uh, that will be a conversation to be had with Tim probably tomorrow or the next day. I'm going to see him tomorrow, obviously, with Electric Line and Crant... I think Crantini in tomorrow? Electric. Boy. I think the Electric Line and Crantini. Now, uh, so the day didn't start good. I come all the way back here, made it here, and, and went out in the track, and it was mud. It hasn't rained here in three days. What do you mean? I came with you, too. I know, but um, as you can see, the little elf is with me still, Ollie Bear. And um, so we get all the way back here, and I come over to the barn. I went to warm up the first horse, and it's mud. I, I mean, it's not like there's frost in the ground. I, I don't understand how there was mud made. Anyway, I, I come back in and changed into my uh, training suit and my older pair of boots and an old helmet and went out to qualify. Um, King was good little choppy in the turns, but certainly not what you would call a half-mile horse. By any, of the, any stretch of the imagination, we got him around a little dicey in the first turn and the second turn. The next two turns weren't as bad. Finished up his mile good and, and uh, qualified strong. He, he's going to have to come back with another qualifier, and I am tempted to just send him over to the Meadows uh, or down to Stacy for that matter um, to uh, to race him. So uh, King now ready to go, ready to rock. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't say ready to rock. He, as I said, he needs another qualifier. Um, what else did we have today? We had, uh, I felt so bad. Miss Rockadelli qualified good. And then we got to the bottom of what was going on with, with uh, what a mission. He had a puss pocket, left front, it blew out. Made a little bit of a mess. We put his flip-flop back on. He seemed okay. And the poor little bugger going right up uh, to the start almost, he, he ripped his shoe off. And of the four shoes, you know which one he ripped off the left front and it wasn't quite at the start you can see right when he made a break he was trotting along fine he was going to get out of there and then all of a sudden he uh all of a sudden he um broke the shoe he didn't break the shoe it just he grabbed the flip-flop part of it and, it and it came off and it was uh i felt so bad for him too because immediately he was there was some discomfort i mean we're not talking about lameness but it'd be like you i, I don't know how to explain it but i suspect after seeing the the level of tenderness that he showed in his foot before we put the flip-flop back on, much like maybe cutting your nail too short to the quick or having a crack in the, in the thing, and then having to go and work, right? And be expected to work with that particular, uh, as, as minor and as remedial as the injury might seem, it is actually a lot more when it comes to the horses. So I, I did feel bad for him, and of course he made a break, and then it was a wild break because he was sore and he was angry. So we're going to have to, he's going to have to, he can't go right back with him next week. I mean, physically, we have to make sure the shoe, one, is good, stays on his foot. And it's not the blacksmith's fault or his foot's fault. Those flip-flops are easy to grab. So we're going to have to ask the blacksmith to hide every nook and cranny of that shoe. If you're a horse person, you know what I'm talking about. That flip-flop can, can stick out a little bit at the back of the foot. And as the foot comes up, the whole point of that shoe is it kind of moves with it, comes up, there's a little space there, and if you can grab it, he has. 
and it's a it's a problem. So, um, um, and mentally, just not in the right frame of mind. You can see what a mission can pull, but not like that. He's not mean like that. He doesn't he doesn't show any uh, anger on the track, and and that was he was wild today. So uh, he's going to need a week off. We'll uh, we'll work on. Uh, he wasn't sore on it, but. I guess to what degree is what I'm talking about. Was he sore to walk and jog along? No, but at racing speed, I'm sure that foot bothered him a little bit. It most definitely did. As I said, the track was muddy, and you might say to yourself, oh, there's a little cushion. No, 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 no. When it rains that hard, you get a little slop on top and then concrete underneath it. I did feel bad for him. So we'll give him a week off to reset and then go again. And then, of course, Kemp, I just tried to be as easy as I could with him. He still got up on the qualifier. He's a competitor. He is a, a true competitor to the bugger. I'll give him that. He's really come a... Uh, he's really... What's that? Hashtag survivor and hashtag bad knees. Yeah, he's got some bad knees. But he was good today and qualified really nicely. So he did have some nice qualifiers. Yeah, but Kemp, Mission, Kings County, um, Kings County, Carter, Michael Dio, and then to come out and have Commando Tom just be really ornery and hard to deal with. My arms are literally like noodles right now. I'm, I'm going to drop Ollie off at home. As you guys know, we live pretty close to the track. I'm going to drop Ollie off at home, um, get something to eat, maybe take a couple of Tylenol, to be honest, because uh, they are throbbing right now. And then we still have, I still have three left. We have two it's left. No, I want the icy hot. Um, uh, who do we have left? We have Walter's keepsake left. Let's see. No, no he just came back in. Just keep saying. Anyway, my partner's in the other horse. I apologize, but a little beside myself. Not not the day I wanted. Uh, the only horse that we kept trot and finished seventh in official capacity. Uh, Carter Michael Dio made that break, and then qualifiers kind of ragdolled me a little bit too. And Walter's keepsake is no peach either. So this is going to be a wonderful finish to the night. So um, so we'll get to it. There's work to be done. I'm gonna get a bite to eat. Drop my boy off, my man off here. Ollie at home. Get Second a quick get, get a quick bite to eat, and then uh, back to the track for uh, two more rounds tonight. Uh, two more races tonight. I'm gonna to feel this tomorrow. Anyway, uh, our plan is to train either half the babies tomorrow and half Friday, or all of them tomorrow or all of them Friday. Still in discussion with both Jasons and Amy. Uh, either way, they'll all be trained before Friday, uh, before we're done on Friday. And then uh, Tuesday is the plan to come back with them. So again, um, not the start to 2024 we were looking for, but as you know, as you guys all know, when you go on the track, if we go on the track with Commando Tom out of the three hole and he's eight to one, that's the wrong horse for the round class. And um, bad luck with Carter at eight to five, but that's going to happen. So chin up. As they say, bite your lip and we'll, uh, we'll get the ship straightened out soon enough. Take care.